These are some of Bacon's latest versions of subjects he's again, and so inexhaustible because they're so simple. Don't tell a particular story. They're simply confrontations with the human presence. The image has the look of someone caught in a flash. The distortion seems designed to suggest movement, and so does the way the face is smeared by paint. Or else it's as if the figure wasn't moving, but was seen by someone walking past. Bacon catches the person as if in a flash, but he gets the sense of the continuity of action, the sense that the movement is going on. Much of the distortion and smearing of the form has to do with this. And also, I think, with getting a sense of unease. His figures don't seem comfortably posed, as if they'd composed themselves to face the artist. They look as if they were caught unawares by someone coming into a room. You see, and I think all those people are very, very, a little bit unstable, don't you think so? I don't know. Not that I think he was, I really don't think he was. He was not, I'm quite sure of that. He was very, very collected. His work was now being bought by major galleries, including the Guggenheim in New York, by private collectors in America, Europe, who literally had the wall space as well as the resources. Bacon moves seemingly effortlessly from the gray of the 1950s to the glamour of the swinging 60s. Here, he was fated in a BBC arts programme in which he allowed the director to film him in his studio, but not under any circumstances actually applying paint to the canvas. If he wanted a bar of soap at three o'clock in the morning, somehow it got to him. We would be sent out to pick up clothes or socks or, you know, whatever. I, you don't want to go on painting portraits of them once they're dead. It seems a bit mad to uh, watch the dead people. After all, one knows that um, if they haven't been, um, what's it called, incinerated, um, that they've rotted away, that their flesh has rotted away. And um, once they're dead, you have, your, you have your memory of them, but um, you haven't got them. I defy, wreck, ruin, challenge one's gift. Because it is um, a very precious thing. It's a kind of incredible permission. And my biography is that I was born with this gift or this infliction. And I hope to get mature and protective and to tune it and to enlarge it and to share it. And that's the only purpose of my existence. There's nothing I have is truly mine.